I'm your host, Erica Moore, checking in from Scenester TV. It is Freaky Friday, Friday the 13th of July. We're actually walking into the Hipster Holocaust premiere. Come follow me while I get my press passes. I'm standing in line with Gavi and Ben. You guys must, you guys are first in line. You must know someone in the production. Um, I know Burgess. I was in a film festival of his, like, years ago. Oh, what did you work on? Uh, this film called Let's Meet. Okay. Yeah. You want to tell us about it? Um, it involved like people rubbing meat all over each other while having sex. <laughs> okay, that's that's very tame. <laughs> so what are you? So you have you seen the footage yet? Or? I have not seen anything yet. No. What are you expecting knowing his work? Uh, tons of blood and guts and gore and yeah, I want to like not be able to sleep for days. <laughs> all right. So this movie is called Hipster Holocaust. What do you consider to be a hipster? Are you a hipster? I mean, a hipster would never self-identify as a hipster. Ah, so is that one of the rules? I, I believe it is. Is there more rules? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think irony, irony and... Um, Skinny jeans? Yeah, and yeah. Maybe, maybe like looking like your grandparents. <laughs> so vintage? Yeah, of course. What about the curly Q mustaches? Is that, an, is that in? That's pretty hipstery, yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah, my mustache wax really never goes out of style. If ah, you're that's the key if you want to be a hipster and you're a guy, you got to get the mustache wax. All right, thanks you guys. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. <laughs> is somebody you know in this? No, I don't know anybody. But I heard there's free popcorn. Oh, you better get that. We gotta feed the hipsters. There you have it. I'm standing here with Sarah, about to go into the opening of Holocaust Hipster. Are you a hipster? Uh, no. You're not a hipster? Could you spot a hipster in the room? Um, yes. Point one out. Um, you. I'm a hipster? I'm in character tonight, but I'll take it. I like this chick that she's got the Stella yeah. the case. Can we see your phone? Come on, come on. We found a hipster. <laughs> well, now you're on film. We're filming you on film. Okay. Is that him? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween movie or, or Friday the 13th movie? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. I don't What's know. What's that one with um, Jamie Lee Curtis? Is where that another teen movie? No, where oh. she switches bodies with her daughter. Oh, Freaky Friday. Freaky That's Friday. perfect. I like that one too. What, so how did you hear about this pre this premiere tonight? Um, we're our friend, our friend made the movie. Like, some friends are in it. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's so they invited you out. Awesome. What are you expecting from the show? Everything. Everything. Do you like horror? Do you like to be scared? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> with Tanya, Catlam, and Aram. Have you heard anything about this film yet? Um, yes. What do you know about it? I know that it got a 1.5 on IMDb. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> so, um, I know that horrors follow certain formats or rules. Who can get killed, who can't get killed. Do you know those? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, usually the people trying to have sex. Okay, so no sex on Freaky Friday. That could be a contender. Is there any more? Uh, don't be black. Yeah. The token guy gets axed always. Okay. Be a minority in general. <laughs> a little controversial. We'll use it. What are you? Are you a hipster? Not really. No. I'm can you can you spot a hipster in the room? I have my glasses like you too. Oh oh oh. There we go. Oh yeah. We, we get that. That's key one. Can you spot a hipster in the room? There's lots here. There's you. Point one out. Well, I'm in character. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says me. Okay, I guess I did good on that one. <laughs> okay, I'm live on the scene with the director, William Burgess. How you doing tonight? Uh, transcendental, ma'am. Oh, all right. So, is this your first flick? Uh, no, it's my second film. Okay. And what? Do you, and between the first two, what was? What would you say the differences are? Uh, well, the first film was an, an instructional film for uh, Humboldt County uh, Sheriff's Department. Uh, so this is actually quite different. What were some of the challenges uh, directing this one? Uh, well, uh, we shot in 12 days and uh, I used uh, all non-professional actors, which actually wasn't a challenge, it was better yeah. that way. Raw. It was raw and it was, uh, it was actually better because, uh, you know, um, Everybody was an artist first and a filmmaker second. Right, so there's and a lot so, of dedication. Yeah, people were just weirder. 
Which and I that's what you need with a with a horror film, right? Yeah, I need weird people. Weird people with a little edge. Are you available? Are you a candidate? <laughs> Are you available for uh, a future uh, film? I work? would. I would take you up on that. We'll see what you have in store next. Cool. <laughs> can I uh, can I do like a murder? Try a murder scene on you right now, like a light one. Oh my God, this sounds exciting. Okay. If I like pretended to strangle you, would that be cool? Well, someone's got to hold my mic. I'll hold, I'll hold the mic with one hand and strangle you with the other. Is that cool? All right, let's do it. Am I supposed to freak out? Yeah. yeah okay. I, I want to find out if you're a good enough actress for the next film. Okay, here's my audition. Okay. That was pretty good. You did a good job. Thank you. That was weird, but it was good. I like how he took over the interview. <laughs> Thank you so much, William. Yeah, no problem. I'm really excited to see this. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Let's do it. We got a ticket. Like I said, it took about three years to make. Uh, I'm going to drink these two beers. <laughs> in, in collaboration with two of the three years that I, uh, that I worked on the film. Anyways. I'm going to sit right here, and it's going to be great. I went to a sale. They had this short. Um, it was the largest 25 to 27 they had. There's kind of like a modest length here that's not, you can't find that in stores. This is a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> this level of class is an, um, it's a mistake and I'm into it. So I'm glad you like my shorts. In the end, these are shorts and um, stole the jewelry I'm wearing. <laughs> if I may, can I just be honest? I stole the jewelry. Not oh my god! Oh! <laughs> the song is called Hipster Holocaust! <laughs> it's safe to go now. <laughs> can, can she have your phone number? <laughs> Kill, he kills them with kindness. That's what he does. He loves that. He's so shy. Slipped you a Subway sandwich, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I paid everybody in Subway sandwiches and pizza. I was uh, living in Echo Park and I was really... Uh, a lot of bad things happened to me at the same time. I lost my job. I got dumped. Uh, and, uh, you know... I realized I was a filmmaker and I hadn't made a film in a year. I had uh, made a, uh, my only other feature length film was made in 2006, so it's like, uh, you know, years and years later. So, uh, I want to live and I want to create and I want to make art and I want to like fucking dance. And uh, so it was this like tension uh, that kind of created the, the uh, you know, the seeds for the film because uh, I didn't really know how else to express myself. So it's, uh, <clears throat> destruction. You know, it was between Hipster Holocaust and title, which was uh, Scenester Slaughterhouse. <laughs> and a Hipster Holocaust was, sounded better. This is Mariela Ivy, and thanks for watching Scenester TV. And thanks to Erica, your awesome host. Aw, oh, thank you! Mwah! <laughs> what is the hip? Next question. <laughs>